Hello guys, welcome back. I know 380 ACP pistols are not the go-to handguns for most people, but I think when chambered in a subcompact pistol, such as a Sig P238, they can serve a purpose. You can use it as a gateway handgun, a backup, or simply as an alternative that can be used when the situation demands it. The P238 is a single stack, single action, and subcompact handgun that chambers 380 ACP. A number of different variations of this pistol have been released, and about seven variants are listed on the official website. Released in 2009, it tries to mimic 1911, but with a smaller form. I do not dig looks in guns, but I can't stress enough how good looking the P238 is. It is simply gorgeous. The variant I own came with rosewood grips and nitron stainless steel slide. Believe me, it is one of only a few guns that I love mainly because of its aesthetics. Furthermore, the gun does not disappoint in performance as well. I can safely say that it is one of the best 380 ACP handguns I have ever owned. There are a lot of things I want to talk about the SIG P238, some of which you might already know and some you probably would not. So let's just get to them. Ergonomics Ergonomics is not the forte of subcompact guns, but the P238 has managed to strike just the right combination for its caliber. It feels more comfortable to shoot than any of the other 380s that I own. That is not to say that it compares with standard size handguns. You still have to figure out the place for pinky fingers, but I think I can live with the P238 despite that. It also comes with an OEM 7-shot extended magazine, which solves that problem. I would always recommend using extended magazines in all subcompact handguns, but the P238 is probably the only subcompact I want to use with the standard magazine. I feel the extended magazine compromises the most appealing feature of the P238, which is its carry size. And it is the reason why most people go for the P238 in the first place. I know you want me to talk about the capacity or lack thereof, and I will get there, but let's just stick to the good things for now. That said, the P238 is not the smallest handgun on the market, but it features just the right size. It is the type of gun you put in the holster in the morning and forget it is even there. The only complaint I have about the ergonomics is safety. It features the traditional 1911 safety and is designed to be carried, cocked and locked. However, the lever is a little bit small and even after spending a decent time with it, I still find the small and rounded safety difficult to disengage. It is one of those types that you cannot hit one-handed. You can also engage the safety while the hammer is forward. It locks the slide in the forward position, which surely looks interesting, but I don't recommend carrying it in this condition. Accuracy If there's one thing that I love more than the aesthetics of this gun, it would have to be the accuracy. Saying that it is the most accurate subcompact 380 would be an understatement. I can go as far as saying that some of the bigger guns at chamber 380 cannot beat the P238 in terms of accuracy. The main reason for such impressive accuracy is the grown-up sights. Most 380s I own come with marginal sights, making it difficult to quickly acquire and shoot the target. SIG has used 3 dot SIGLITE sights in the P238, which are exceptional. While the sights play a huge role in making it as accurate as it is, the trigger also contributes to it. Do not get me wrong, it is not as smooth as some of the bigger 1911s like Nighthawk Custom Carry, but if you compare with anything else in the same category, the trigger on P238 definitely outshines them. At about 6 pounds, the trigger feels quite smooth, and because it is single action, there are hardly any movements of the trigger. It is important to mention that while the trigger looks like a 1911 trigger, it is not. Unlike the 1911 triggers, which are known for their straight to the rear pull, the P238's trigger is hinged at the top. Let's just say it is a bit more modern. Frankly, I do not have anything to complain about. Another reason contributing to the exceptional accuracy is the recoil, which is the next thing I want to discuss. Recoil If you have tried a couple of compact 380s, you would know these guns do not have the ideal recoil management. There's not much to hold on to, and the recoil absorbing weight is also low. But as I mentioned earlier, the P238 strikes the right balance and outshines the competition. It is probably because the gun features a bit wider grip panel at one inch. 
For comparison, the Ruger LCP offers a width of 0.82 inches. While the difference might not feel significant, you will surely notice a difference when you hold both guns together. I can get a decent fit that is tight enough to make me feel the slide hitting the end of its travel, and I don't think I have small hands. The larger grip makes it feel welcoming, even when it is slightly larger than its counterparts. The weight of the P238 plays a key role in recoil management, and it is heavier than most 380 compacts on the market. The one I own weighs around 20 ounces, but the standard model weighs around 15 ounces. If you come from owning a polymer frame compact handgun, you will certainly feel the difference. However, even then, you will start to feel at home once you get a hold of it. I know it is heavier than the other models in the same category, but I would rather take the additional weight than the lack of accuracy, ergonomics, and looks. Reliability I have been using the P238 for about five to six years and must have shot a couple of thousands of rounds with it. And so far, I have not experienced a major issue with the P238. Surely, I have experienced some malfunctions, but none important enough to label this gun as unreliable. It is one of those guns I can vouch for as far as reliability is concerned. Another feature I must appreciate is that the P238 is not picky about the type of ammo. Most 380s can be quite picky about the ammo, which is one of the reasons people do not find chambering handguns practical anymore. But I can tell you with the P238, you can chamber the dirty brass and high quality ammo. Either way, the gun will not let you down. But should you buy it? It is the question I did not want to answer, but could not complete the video without. You see, it is a good gun, and you have heard my reasons. However, I hate to say it, but it is not the most practical purchase you can make in 2023. Sure, you might want to keep it just because of its elegant design and unbeatable accuracy, but then you look at the price tag and think again. Can't you get a better option for that hefty price tag? Exactly, you can. And that is why I, for one, would not recommend it to anyone looking for a subcompact gun for personal or home safety. It can accommodate just six rounds, which are bits and pieces by today's standards. And then there is the issue of the rounds that it chambers. Furthermore, the size of the gun is also not the smallest in its category. Mix all of this together and you will know that it certainly is not the most practical gun out there. However, it can be a great option for anyone who wants to add a masterpiece to their gun collection that can be used for occasional fun at the range. Yes, the safety is something that might annoy you a little, but you will figure out a way to work with it. And once you do that, the P238 will make you fall in love with it. In a nutshell, it is a type of gun I probably would not buy in this age, but it is not something I regret purchasing. I know it does not make much sense when said out loud, but you guys can figure it out. That is all for this video. I hope it has been a comprehensive guide on the SIG P238. Let me know what you think of it in the comments section and stay connected with this channel to learn more about guns and everything else surrounding them. As always, I will see you in the next one.